are my beautiful friends today i wanted to share with you my beauty room um recently my sister moved out and i started to work on my extra room converting it into sort of like my dream area my husband has an entire garage to himself <clears throat> so i do not feel in any way guilty snagging this room when i had the chance i put my daughter in the bigger room it's maybe a foot or two bigger I put her over here and I was able to claim this whole room to myself. So I wanted to share some of it with you, some of my space. Um, definitely would love some direction or some suggestions down below. I am in no way, I can't even, I don't know how to say this. Like my grandmother can go in a room and in 30 minutes she can have the whole room laid out and ready to go. She can decorate the whole thing and she has great ideas. She can repurpose things. She can go to thrift stores. She is amazing. And I am just trying to learn. It takes me a little more time. So I would love some suggestions. Now, when we moved in here, this room was an office for the previous owner. Um, so there's quite a bit of holes and marks on the wall. So my husband said, when we're a little closer to spring, because I don't really want to paint when we can't have some windows open. So I think spring's like the perfect time. It's not too humid, so your paint's going to dry, but it's not so cold you can't have some ventilation so we're gonna spackle and really fix up this room i'm thinking i would love to do like a retro theme and have like um, a really big beautiful oversized chair like an orange chair maybe do a couple walls tangerine in here i don't know um or go very neutral i'm like so back and forth so i'm either going to go super extreme in here and do something very colorful or do something super neutral because there is this like almond um, color that I kind of been eyeing that I also love which would be very neutral so you could decorate it any way you want. Um, I love foliage and plants. I feel like they pull the room together and I really really love like a retro vibe. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, so if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. My name is Charlie and I would love to have you. My channel consists of like beauty, fashion, especially fashion. I love fashion videos, makeup, home decor, whatever I can think of, I love sharing with you. So if that interests you, I would love for you to stick around. So that being said, let's move on. So my home is about, I I moved to this home about seven, eight months ago. My previous home was very, very small. It was about 900 square feet. We bought it when we were very young. It was our first home and we needed more space. This home is about 1400 to 1500 square feet i'm not exactly sure it's right around there and i see these tiktoks that kind of annoy the daylights out of me um about oh show your modest home um where are the women with the 1300 square feet home first of all in my opinion 1300 square feet is big um, 1500 square feet is big. There is only three of us now living here and the house seems enormous. Um, most people generally don't live in 3000 to 4000, 5000 square feet homes. To me, that is huge. So I just feel bad when people kind of like make it seem like these are just smaller homes when in my opinion, they're quite spacey and, um, I love my home. I think maybe because I did live in such a smaller house, um, that it just kind of amazes me that people don't find these homes to be pretty big. Um, I feel like 900 square feet was more modest, but maybe I'm crazy. Definitely let me know your opinion down below because we've looked at trailers and some of the trailers are literally gorgeous and huge. I was shocked at some of the double wide trailers that we looked at, but I love my home. So I wanted to share with you this beautiful room and I'm just going to come in and show you. Um, and then I would love if you don't mind leaving me comments about things that you would do furniture wise, um, color schemes. I would just love to have any ideas, anybody out there that would like to share that with me it would be greatly appreciated i am also going to ikea this weekend i know it's not everyone's favorite place but i've had really good luck with ikea so if you would like to see maybe me walk around ikea i've never done anything like that before definitely let me know if it's a dud that's fine i don't mind i won't record but if you would like to see some of the things that i see or find in my particular ikea definitely let me know so now that i've rambled enough let's get on to the tour just remember keep an eye out let me know what you would think would look better here or what would maybe um furniture pieces some of this stuff is not staying some of it is temporary so let's get on to it okay so as you can see this is quite a decent sized room again don't mind the walls um the lady for whatever reason had so many holes in the wall she had a little tiny I don't know if she did a business where she made like vinyls but she put as you can see tons and tons of holes and for whatever reason she was not required to fix it when we moved in 
Um, if I'd known that, I would have been a little more of a stickler about things. I might have asked, like, here, she has all these marks. So it is what it is. With time, we will fix something. It's very simple. So when you first walk in, like I said, it's a very decent-sized room. Not all these pieces will be here. This is my sister's bed. This is not staying. She is temporarily staying with somebody when she has enough saved up to find an apartment. Um, she will obviously take her bed and her furniture. We are storing it here for her because in no way could she afford a storage space. And I'm her sister and her guardian. So you know what I mean? She's a young, young woman and I'm trying to help her. By no means did we ask her to leave. I think she just has to learn on her own and that's okay with me, but she can always come home if she needed to. So this is her bed. This is not gonna stay here. What I'm thinking about doing is a reading nook. So I'm gonna do, um, if I do the tour of Ikea, if anybody would like that, I will show you what I mean by like one of those retro chairs they have and then do a table with um, a lamp. So I have a little reading nook. This is not staying, but for now I like it. But again, it's just a normal bed, nothing special. I don't have matching comforter, pillows, none of that. So right here, I love this thing. Unfortunately, it is broken, so I want to get something similar. I'm thinking about doing all white in here. I don't know. I'm not for sure yet. So on top of here, I just have some purses, and then I got this at Ikea. It's just a little cheap basket with a plant up here. That's from Shein. It says, enjoy the little things. I do have LED lights in here. They were my daughter's. Um, that's fine. I would rather keep them up until we're ready to paint so they don't rip the paint. And right there is our attic, which is very tiny. There's no storage space. But I thought that was pretty enjoy the little thing. So I hung that there to kind of just cover up any little holes that were over there. And then this is where I keep my makeup palettes in the first three drawers. I tried to organize it as best as possible. And then you go down to this next drawer, which is all of my jewelry. Here is a little bit of hair. This is a um, obviously a tape measure. I have something, um, maybe something you don't know about me, but I am somebody who enjoys collecting sea glass and Kate May diamonds. If you ever want to see some of these, I can show you. Obviously, maybe just like in a short, because I don't think you want a whole dedicated video. But I am obsessed. All summer, I collect sea glass. I have some in here from North Carolina, and then of course where I live in New Jersey. And I love Kate May diamonds. They're my favorite thing in the summer to walk up the beach and collect. I don't collect shells. I just collect them. And then the next two drawers are my obsession with nail polish. So yes, I have quite a bit of nail polish. This is um, downsizing. I used to have about three times the amount. But when my husband and I bought this house, we agreed that I would downsize quite a bit. Plus a lot of it was old and I've had it for years. So this little shelving unit is from Amazon if I can find it or something similar it was right around $99 and I really like it I broke it that was my fault it was not the piece of furniture's fault so the my favorite thing about moving to this room was getting this much bigger closet now I have a very decent sized closet um that's one thing about this house that was wonderful in my master bedroom there was two closets so my husband had his own and then I had one and each room had a very decent um, size closet. No, they're not walk-in. Again, normalizing normal things. I love this closet. I think it's nice and big. I would love to take the doors off, but I'm not sure what that would look like. So for now, I don't mind these sliding doors. Up top are just my purses and my old baby blanket, just some purses. I don't have quite a, I just don't have a big collection of purses, but this is what I love. So all of my winter stuff is gonna go in here. The other closet I'm going to keep formal wear, dresses, and summer stuff. So I was so excited. Now I don't have to bag up all my stuff every year. And I can keep all my clothes um, safe in my closets. And I don't have to worry about putting them in the basement. And then my husband gets his closet. And I gave him all six dresser, dresser drawers. I know that sounds, oh, congratulations, you gave your husband the drawers. But um, he was very happy with it and he doesn't have nearly as much clothes. So this is the one side. Um, I don't have it in any special order. Um, but for now, this makes me happy. I love this jean jacket that I stole from my sister. She left it here and, um, she doesn't know she's not getting it back. 
it's just got all kinds of little cartoon characters on or little characters on it and i love it so that's uh something she won't be getting back and then i was able to fit almost all of my shoes at the bottom of this closet and then i will um have my more formal shoes or shoes that wouldn't fit in my other little closet so i was super duper happy to have this oh no that's not the right way the doors are something i have to still get kind of used to because mine just pulls open so right here these are shelves that i um stole from my daughter temporarily there's just a little hanging plant that's from ikea these shelves are from i believe five below i think i'm going to get myself a set i really like the way it looks i feel like plants will pull a room together um, if you're like kind of on the fence about like what you want to do with decorations, I feel like plants look beautiful. And then I put a little candle. So these little tiny plants are all from Ikea. The foliage is probably from Amazon. The little greenery vines are probably from Amazon. The candle was a gift, so I'm not exactly sure where it's from, but I really think this is gorgeous. Now I don't burn candles unless I'm in the room because I do have a cat and two small animal, two small dogs. So that's not often, but I thought that looked really pretty there. And of course she's going to have a fit because I stole her shelves, but that's what I'm thinking about doing this weekend when I go to Ikea is I need some shelves and my daughter needs a dresser and I'm thinking about buying a new makeup table. I'm not sure. And I need some like just little decorations for this room. So up here is a beautiful shelf. That shelf is staying. So I have happiness is homemade. I thought that looked really pretty. And then just two vine plants that hang. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do up there, but for now I really like it. And I really love these gray curtains. So I have this nice, huge, beautiful window that sits here. And then of course this old um, makeup table that is a dog tail. Um, he is hiding under the bed. He loves being under the bed and there's something sitting next. Oh. Uh, the broken hairbrush that I have. So I love this mirror. Hello. Um, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is Bluetooth. You can play music on it. It is perfect. Even when it is like gloomy like today, it, it is so bright and beautiful. But you can see this is from also from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was very expensive. I think it was like $200. To me, that's expensive to kind of just like get rid of it I wanted to repurpose it but I don't even know where to begin with repurposing it this stool is completely broken it is hanging on by a thread um I've had this now for about eight years so I've had it for a really really long time and it the door's broken off it's covered in makeup so what I want to do is downsize it and just do a little white table it will take up less room um I would like maybe donate it but it is quite broken and just kind of ugly so i feel bad throwing out a piece of furniture but i'm just kind of ready to downsize so this is kind of like my favorite little thing the tv is my sister's i don't know if she'll take it or not i just threw it in here because it just looked nice and then this little lamp i'm sorry if it's blinding you is from walmart um that might just be my reading lamp i don't know it is nice for now. As you can see, the walls look terrible. They will be fixed. This little sign says, love grows best in little houses just like this. That was from my old house, but it looks nice. Then this great big candle that was a gift from one of the girls gave my daughter and I ended up stealing it from her. I thought this looked really cute. I had this mug that was just sitting around and nobody wanted it. So I thought a little plant looked cute in it. Um, you can buy something like that so so in, so so expensive at a regular store and i just took like a two dollar mug and threw in like a three or four dollar plant and it looks super cute so here this looks gorgeous i love these like multi-purpose shelf things um my sister had bins in it but the bins were kind of scratched up from the cat so i threw out the bins and this is from home depot i love the color of it that's why like i'm not sure if i should go more neutral color in here or do like maybe one accent wall like a pop of accent like a do um just like neutral and then do like one tangerine wall or something pretty or like maybe like a pastel orange right now orange and yellow are like my favorite colors they make me happy so i don't know definitely let me know down below so the very first thing is a little plant here i got this at TJ Maxx last year when they were doing their Pride Month and I wanted to support that and I thought it was so cute and it was $9.99 and I loved it. I love that they had a Pride section last year. Really hope they do it again and I would love to get more pieces. It is so like 
perfect for summer, but you definitely can use it year round. Love that. Then I have my Sarah J Mass books. I love how colorful they are. They look perfect there. Then that is my perfume and my jewelry and then a little pretty Dollar Tree DIY vase. Then I have three little cute plants that is from Ikea. These are so inexpensive. You get like four or five of them for under $5, I'm pretty sure. Then I have an elephant from TJ Maxx. Or, yes, TJ Maxx. My sister bought all of these. I have three of them. It was so funny. My one sister bought me two. And then at the same time, my other sister also bought me one. So I have two blue ones and a little white one. Then I have my white edition of uh, my Twilight books. I saw these at... Uh, books a million and I had to have them so I got them two Christmases ago and I really like the white edition then I have my cursor series books down here honey excuse me could you move please honey come here get up on the bed I have a chihuahua a big fat chihuahua he's the biggest chihuahua I've ever seen he weighs about 14 or 15 pounds um, he's just big all over he's very tall and long he, uh, we expected to have a little tiny guy because the rest of the litters that the lady had, she had two litters, were quite small. He, I consider him a rescue. Um, the mom had one litter and then she never thought they were going to have another one because the dad was so old and he was just an unexpected surprise. So I love him. So I have my Curse Breaker series. Then I have the old, or I have the Crescent City and then I have the new one that I haven't quite read yet, but I am obsessed with this cover. Look how gorgeous this blue is. I think this was so beautiful. I was so obsessed with it. And I'm not like somebody who loves the color blue, believe it or not. Blue is like one of my least favorite colors. I like it on other people, but not me. Honey, move. And then I have Am Empire of the Vampire, which I haven't read yet. And I'm excited to get to reading it. I'm Right now, right now I'm reading her other series, the Tog series. So I'm on book three. Um, I'm a little slow on my reading this year, which made me very sad because I was just not feeling too good. So I hope to read quite a bit this year. And like I said, I have another little elephant. So let me stand up. I think this looks really, really nice. And I don't see myself really changing too, too much about it. I did have the three empty, the three bottom shelves were empty at first. But um, I think it looks a little more pulled together and I just like it. And then I have a little bit of greenery on the TV. That might not stay. I don't love it near the candle. But like I said, I don't usually have a candle burning. And that might be temporary. So let me back up and just kind of show you everything. Again, it's not perfect. It's not like a walk-in closet, beauty room. Um, but to me, I'm obsessed. I love it. I have a space for me. Um, I don't have to fight with my husband coming in to get ready in the morning. I have a little space for me. He has his garage. So like I said, I do not feel guilty not sharing this space with him because he was joking with me and wanted to make half the room his fishing stuff. But I said, no way, buddy. You have an entire garage. I said, unless you're going to share half the garage with me, which I do not want, really. So we were just messing with each other. Now, what I would love to put here, I keep my little, not my little, but I keep my Canon Rebel T6 camera there. Um, I like to take pictures tonight. We have our last basketball game. Um, hopefully we get Tri-County this tonight. Um, the girls made it to Tri-County, yay. Um, my daughter cheers for basketball and fingers crossed she makes it for football cheer next year. Um, I want to put a wardrobe here, like the thing, the wardrobe racks. I think that's what I'm going to do there. I'm going to have much more space when the bed's gone. Um, but I think I'm going to do a wardrobe bed. Ro Jesus. A wardrobe rack there. So, opinions would be greatly appreciated. And I have this gorgeous fan. We installed these fans for whatever reason. A lot of the newer homes do not come with fans. I don't understand it. Um, when we first moved in, it was so damn hot up here. And I said, no way. Each room needs a fan. These were roughly $100, and thank God we had an electrician as a friend that was able to install them in less than two hours. And I love the way they look, and they are controlled by um, a remote control, so it's really, really nice. And we Velcroed this one, so I really, really love this, so perfect. So anyway, suggestions, color schemes, furniture pieces, would you like to see me walk through Ikea, anything like that, definitely let me know down below. Okay, my beautiful friends. So that brings me to the end of today's video. If you would love to stick around and support me, I would love to have you here on my channel. 
remember to subscribe hit that like button and definitely leave me comments below suggestions color schemes furniture um, anything that you uh, think would look good I'm definitely gonna get one of those wardrobe racks because I think when I start getting into a little more spring and summer fashion it will look really chic and aesthetically pleasing in the background and I always have liked the look of those so if you enjoyed this like I said I would love to have you stick around um, if you think you would enjoy something um, like me walking around Ikea I will definitely try to make it as entertaining as possible if I'm with my husband he's such a goofball so you definitely will be entertained but I understand completely if it's not something that you are interested in but for today's video I hope you all enjoyed this I hope you stick around and subscribe and I will see all of my beautiful friends in the next one bye guys